Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Hey everyone, Barack Obama and Mitt Romney are not the only ones debating tonight as the Cardinals and Giants will settle the debate as to who is the top team in the National League in tonight's Game 7. Regardless, the World Series will have a familiar look. The Giants, the 2010 champs. Meanwhile, the Redbirds won last season. The Cards had a 3-1 lead in this series, and it's been downhill since then. And Game 7 hasn't been any better. San Fran scored one run in the first and added another run in the second. But it was the third inning where San Francisco took a giant step towards victory with a five-run inning. Kyle Loesch, the 16-game winner, lasted just two innings as he allowed five runs. Right now, the Giants lead 7-0 in the sixth inning. Missouri point guard Phil Pressy is expected to set a positive precedent or precedent this season. Today, Pressy was named the preseason SEC Player of the Year. Pressy is just one of two returning players from last year's 30-5 team. This just the latest preseason honor for the star point guard. Earlier this month, CBS Sports named Pressy a first-team All-American. Pressy dished out a career-high 6.4 assists per game last season. Who will lead the country and be the next president is in question. And who will lead Missouri and start at QB this weekend? Well, that's also a question that's not quite answered. What is sure, though, is that the Tigers will play the Kentucky Wildcats for their homecoming game this Saturday at 11 a.m. Mizzou's coming off a bye following a 42-10 loss to number one Alabama. As for who will start in the ever-important QB position, Mizzou has listed James Franklin as doubtful for this weekend, and Coach Pinko says he's ready to start Bergstresser if he has to. Our medical staff have to make that decision Thursday. First of all, he has to be released. Number two is he has to be functional. And functional means that he can, you know, move and do the things necessary with a strain MCL. Um, he's not even run to this date. He's not run at all. And then we'll go uh, with Corbin Burkstresser again uh, as uh, we head into this game against Kentucky. You know, when you have a quarterback that's inexperienced like he is, you want your offensive line, you want your receivers, you want the people of running backs. If they play really well, that's a whole lot easier to play quarterback better. Some high school seniors can vote in the election. Here at KOMU, you can vote for some of these high schoolers in Friday Night's Fever Plays of the Week. Play number one, Salisbury's Austin Francis with a 65-yard pass to Alec Wilson, who will be down at the one-yard line, Salisbury Clobbers Paris, 49-6. Play number two, Osage QB Bo Dean just doing what he's done all season long. Dean with a 39-yard touchdown run, Osage puts up 68 points and a win over Warsaw. And play number three, senior Kenny James is off to the races and you won't catch him. A 92-yard kickoff return as Rockbridge beats Jefferson City 28-18. And that's sports.